all new Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 DLC. Pre-order now for the season pass. Wouldn't be surprised if they found all that on the disc. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Jay here, and I actually have a shirt on today. Um, so I'm bringing you guys another face cam video. Okay, let's talk about let's talk about a situation real quick. Hold up, let me let me pull it up. Let me. Let me pull this up real quick. All right, so today we're talking about the Naruto uh, Storm 4 Season Pass. And basically, I, I'm not happy about it. I'm definitely not happy about it at all. Yeah, everybody's really, like, super hype about it or some shit. And uh, I'm pretty sure I'm the one who announced it. Like, I knew it would happen. Think about it. Um, <laughs> so, anyway, uh... The season pass really consists of uh, just a bunch of useless bullshit to me, uh, to be honest. Um, it, so it's three individual packs, and each pack consists of uh, some useless bullshit and some actual useful bullshit. Um, the first one, actually, you know what, let me just... Alright, so it comes with three DLC packs. Um, I'm like 100% sure I, I'm the one who uh, originally, you know, came up with this, pretty much, so... Uh, so the first DLC pack is a uh, consists of a three hour scenario, which should probably be some story mode stuff. One new costume, four new ultimate jutsus for an entire team, some ninja treasure shit. That's going to be useless for in game uselessness. So some in game costumes, uh, 10 new ninja info cards that are also useless online. Uh, cause nobody really gives a damn about that stuff. Uh, 10 new matching voices. So I think what that might be is at the beginning of the match, um, you know how uh, a lot of games, they go, ready, fight. You know what I mean? Uh, so they'll probably have different characters and stuff like that. So you'll get Naruto, Sasuke, Hinata, you know, different characters doing that. Or, or it could be something completely else and I have no idea what it is. If I ever come up with an idea, I'll probably annotate it in this video. Um, but then there's also uh, 10 costumes from the previous Storm games. What the fuck is this bullshit right now? Like, like I, I don't understand. Why is this not free? Like, if I paid for it in Storm Storm 3, the shit from Storm 2, the shit from Storm Revolution, why why do I have to pay again for this bullshit? Are you fucking kidding me? Get out of here, CC2, with this bullshit. Then you have a uh, scenario... Then you have uh, pack number two. And in pack number two... Uh, it includes another story mode, uh, which is uh, another story mission. This is going to be allegedly three hours long, but I don't, I don't know who's, whose standards that is and who actually played it for three hours. Um, so if, if, if that's the full thing, it's probably not American hours. It's probably Japanese hours, which means they were looking for trinkets and shit. Um, one other new costume. So a total of two costumes and two DLC packs. Um, what does this other thing say? Um, another three ultimate jutsus. Once again, that's fine. I, I shouldn't have to pay for that. That should already be in the fucking game, but whatever. Um, w another new ninja treasure set for more useless shit to do useless things with. Uh, ten new matching voices. Ten new ninja info cards. Also, both useless. Uh, ten costumes. Ten more costumes from previous Storm Game. What? Once again, that's 20 costumes that I've already fucking paid for. Why, why, why am I paying for this shit again? That's fucking stupid. Um, and then the last pack. The last pack is really the only thing that actually comes with any, any good shit, and it's four playable characters. That's it. Four playable characters, three new, uh, ult team ultimate jutsus, so instead of the previous pack being four, and then three. So, you get even more shit that should already be in the game. Um, one new, uh, ninja treasure set for more useless shit, so it's probably just accessories and, 
uh, coins and also more more useless shit, essentially. Uh, ten new ninja info cards to also be useless online uh, because uh, they should really be like, oh, uh, patch notes for online. Like, this is how good the online is going to be. Like, that's what you need to be focusing on, not these ten new ninja info cards. So, um, and ten more new matching voices. Once again, ten more pieces of bullshit. And then, guess what? Ten costumes from the previous Storm game. So that's a total of 10, 20, 30 costumes. And then, uh, let me see. One, uh, two, uh, 32, not including new playable characters, 32 costumes. That's it. 32 costumes out of three DLC packs. Um, the DLC packs stand alone. I believe they're $11 US. So I, I don't understand why there's so much money. Like, $11 is not 20 but, I mean, whatever. And then a whole season pass is $22. $22! Mostly for some shit that I've already fucking paid for. Like, I don't, under, I don't understand any of this. But let me know what you guys think in the comments section. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not liking this. This, is, this shit is just way too much money for shit I've already paid for, shit I don't want, shit that's useless, and then shit that should already be in the game. Like, it... it I'm not, I can't, my brain cannot fathom CC2 and Namco's idea of putting this shit together. But let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. This has been Jay, and I will catch you guys next time. Keep it canning.